in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we declare, O oh God, a safe landing, O oh God, of your word. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare a fresh manner, a fresh revelation, O oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we give thanks and we honor you. In Jesus' precious name, do we pray and believe and somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Please, you can greet one another. and May the Lord bless you for coming. And welcome them into today, today's lunch hour. Hallelujah. You are blessed. Hallelujah. I say you are blessed. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the just that records that they say that the, the beginning of the fear, the, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge so knowledge comes after now you have feared God so we are going to look at the things that when you begin to walk in the spirit of the fear of God will begin to take place in your life and one of the things that I've mentioned here is protection you when you fear God when you walk in reverence to his name it begins to protect you. Hallelujah. Then the next one I want to read to us is in the book of Psalms 128 and verse 1. God begins to bless you. Ah. Once you walk in the fear of God. It begins to download his resources to you. It begins to trust you. Because you are walking in the fear of God. The Bible says in verse 1. Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord. And then who walks in his way. So in a simpler term. When you want to see somebody who fears God. Is the person that walks in his ways. Let's read Matthew 2 seven and verse 23 to show you that Jesus one time rejected some Christians why because they refused to walk in his ways but yet they were they were believers this is because the Bible says and then I will declare to them and go to verse 20 we get it right. Therefore, by their fruits you will know them. Eh? Now everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven. But he who does, everyone who does, you will know them by their doing, by what they do. Anyone, the Bible says, he who does the will of my father in heaven. Then in verse 22, it says, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name? These are believers. Hello? Cast out devils in your name. And done many wonders in your name. So it doesn't matter how many wonders you have done. If you are not in the fear of God, you are doomed. So in verse 23, he rejected them. So that means you can be singing, but if you are not in the fear of God. Hello. Just like I can give, I can give a testimony of myself. I didn't know that I, I was not born again for three years. I would go for cashiers. I would go for open doors and preach the gospel. I would call people to come and get saved. Yet I was not born again. Yes, I would preach in the crusades for three years. Three years. For three years, I would sing. I would lead people in praise and worship. That's my story. I would, I would, I would help people. I would lay my hands and they will recover. I will heal the sick. 
Yet I didn't know that I was a donkey. I was a vessel. But if Jesus would have come during that time, I wouldn't have made it to heaven. Until one night in Thika, a pastor came to me and he spoke to me and he said, man of God, in quotes, you are not born again. I said, what? For three years now I've been preaching this gospel. I said, no, you are not born again. God is telling me, now you need to give your life to Christ. The fear of God is not in you. That reverence, yes, you are doing is assignment, but you are not with him. So after the conversation, I found myself kneeling down, crying because of the wasted hello, years. Ambassador Pitya. So he, he told me now from today, every mission you are going to do is going to be registered. This is because I didn't know what the fear of God is all about. Salvation is not about knowing God. It's about fearing God. I wish I would have heard your amen here. Salvation is not about knowing God. It's about fearing who he is. Hallelujah. And as you fear him, you begin to do what he says. Yes. Jesus said, depart from me. You who practice lawlessness. They practice change the virtue. They practice lawlessness. And do you know we were delivered from the law into another law. We were delivered from the law of the flesh from the law of sin into the law of the spirit. Can you read uh, Romans 8? Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Salimi ya mtu mambie. Walk in the fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. This is what we desire in church. Romans. Hallelujah. They break God's law. Romans 8. If we have Romans 8, we can read that. So yesterday I said something very powerful. And I, I went and I, I was just reading... Uh, looking at the video Mali uh, Ubiri I realized there's a very powerful statement I made this is what I said that sin is no longer in the world sin is in the church yes and there are many people who are going to hell via church <laughs> did you hear what I said there are so many people who are going to hell through the vehicle called church. Kuna wengi wamejificha makanisani wakiwa wamevaa ngozi ya kondo lakini ndani ni umbwa mwitu. The Bible says for the law of no, verse 1 Start verse 1 for better understanding. Let's read together. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Who do not walk according to the flesh. But according to the spirit. Then it explains in verse 2. That for the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. So we have been made free from another law into another law. Then verse 3, we are now introduced into another law. He says, for what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, God did by sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh on account 
of sin. He condemned sin in the flesh. Go to verse 2. Hallelujah. It's verse 2. Oh my God. For the law of the spirit of life. It is called the law of the spirit. Oh. So in the spiritual realm there are laws. There are laws that governs our Christianity. So you find believers, some of them, they are living a reckless life. Some of them are not in the law of the spirit. Means you are, when you are in the law of the spirit, means you are governed. You are governed by the laws. Not of the laws of the flesh, but the laws of the spirit. Is somebody getting what I am explaining here? Bwana Yesu asiwe sana. They are called the laws of the spirit. So one of the things that will enable us to see the fruits of the fear of God is humility. I only had one amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Is is in Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 21. So one of the things, uh, characters that will see in you to know that you are in the fear of God. You know there is that fear of God. Yeah? But this one, it says submitting to one another. In the, can we read together? Submit to one another in the fear of God. Are you in a position to hear counsel? To listen advice from spiritual men? Oh God. The fear of God will allow you to hear and to submit. Because it says submit to one another. In the fear of God. In the fear of God. You are subjected to authority. Oy. You are subjected to God's authority. You are subjected to God's authority. When you hear people gossiping you. You don't gossip back. When you hear people in your group gossiping. You don't join that group. Because eventually those who gossip with you will eventually gossip about you. Hello. Those who gossip with you eventually will gossip something about you. So you don't entertain gossip. You don't spread out evil rumors. Because there is a law that governs you. There is a law of the spirit that governs a believer. You don't just live a life for the sake of it. You live a life because there is a governor. There is a law. There is a law. I cannot do this. The law is about do not, isn't it? One yes was if you son. The law is about do not, do not, do not. But you see, there are people around. They don't live under that section of do not. For them to throw any evil word is, is, is natural for them. Ushaona mkristo, amejawa kamusi ya matusi. Mkristo, born again. Wamama wawili walikuwa na pigana sokoni. Na wani waokovu. Na wengine mmoja wawa ni clerk na esabu sadaka. Kanisani. Wakiwa nataka kupigana hivyo kambia mama ngoja kidogo. Ngoja niweke yesu chini kwanza. Alafu ni kuoneshe vitu hapa. Wana yesu wa sifiwe sana. So we have people. They love God, yes. With their mouth. With their mouth. That's why I'm saying. Don't love God with your mouth. Love him from your heart. Because when you love him from your heart, submission comes in automatically. Why? Because you fear God. And 
And if you fear God, men, it will be natural for you to fear men. First of all, you fear authority. Anyone who does not fear authority doesn't have the fear of God. When pastor tells you, it is time for you to pray over that issue, do you pray? When pastor tells you, settle down, please, no rush, there is no rush in this. Do you have the audacity to wait and say, my pastor has told me this because he's a, he's a spiritual authority. That's why we have, we have young men, we have, we have people in church just because you can sing on the altar does not give you a license to do whatever you want. That's why you find rebellion in church. Oh, I'm talking now. Unajua ulikuwa unangojea au utabarikiwa. Utaendesha meli lakini Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. That's why you find rebellion in church. You nowadays it's hard to correct people. Pastors we are in trouble. Unless the spirit helps us, helps us. Nowadays it's very difficult for us to correct people head on. You tell brother, you tell sister, this is sin. Three, three months, you settle down. Sit. Do a soul searching. And you'll find a brother or a sister settle down. Many will say, I will find another church. That's why I am very afraid of believers who join the ministry where I come from. In Kitengela. I'm very much afraid. I would rather pray for a, a new convert, a new believer, than receiving people who are born again and they are coming to join the church. They are very dangerous. You understand? Let me explain. Eh? You find a mature. 10 years in salvation. Joining your church. Mr. Mrs. Know it all. I've, I've, I've had people going through my hands in Kitengela. They come in the name of knowing it all. But in terms of subjecting themselves. Uh -uh, I cannot subject myself. Who do you think you are? After all, you depend on me to bring the presence down. Uh -uh. To bring who what? Just because you can hold a mic, just because you can operate on some few machines, does not give you the permission to, to torment, <laughs> the, uh, to torture. Where is the fear? Can you be rebuked in church and stay in church? You may scare one yes. <laughs> can you be rebuked in the house of God? And say, I, I oh, Pastor, ni kuna kitu ni limuambia jana. Yani ya mekuja kunitangaza kwa madhabao. It is through your lesson. It is through what, what you are going through. Somebody else. Lazima haonyo. We are not preaching you. We are preaching Christ. Nona hii kanisa ya hukundo hii meongoka. Sijui ya huku ni hayetaki kuongea. Bwana Yesu wa sifiwe sana. Nasikia kutu anasama. Wawo pastor kazi yao ni kiwambia kitu anaenda kutamuka kwa madhabao. No fear of the Lord. No fear of God. No fear of God. People cannot be humbled. They cannot subject themselves. And the Bible says, submit yourself to one another. In the fear of God. When a brother or a sister comes to you and tell you, by the way, your dressing is not blessing the church at all. You hear somebody say, do you know where I come from? Hello? I'm talking about the fear of God. Kwa sababu msoili anasema, alisema alo lipo. 
na kama alipo liko kwa, liko mahali ninapiga kona gusa mwanzako mwambie when you are, when you are corrected do you hear ama do you rebel because some some rebuke demons some prophesied but when the day of the lord came jesus rejected them And they were all rebuking the devil in the name of Jesus. But when the day of the Lord came, Jesus, the one who was they were preaching, he rejected them. How would Jesus tell these people that I do not know you? It's because of the lawlessness that was in them. They would preach Christ in the evening, but during the night they are doing something else. It is time for the church to walk in the spirit of the fear of God. Amen. Hallelujah. It is time. Tell your neighbor. Shake your neighbor. And tell him it is time for the church to walk in the spirit of the fear of God. And how would you do that? It's by subjecting yourself under the mighty hand of God. Subjecting yourself under the mighty hand. I told you that God has five fingers. When you hear the hand of God is five fingers. Amen. Bwana ikanisa ndo inabarikiwa sana. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. I have said this when you subject yourself under the mighty Where is that in James? Is it, is it in James? He says subject yourself, submit yourself under the mighty hand of God and he will uplift you in due time. Huh? Do you want promotion? Yes. Do you want an uplifting? Yes. Do you want blessing? Yes. Then the secret is subjection. The secret now, if you want, you want to know that you are walking in the fear of God, then subject yourself, whether you like it or you don't. Sometimes you may not like it. Sometimes you may not feel like doing it. But brother, sister, subject yourself. There is a reward coming. There is a blessing coming. There is a protection coming. There is a blessing coming your way. Yes. Please find that scripture for me. There is 1 Peter 5. And verse 1. Yeah. Hallelujah. Is that one? No. Verse what? Man of God. Seven. How about they about? Tuangali about them to funga ibad. Six. Therefore. Can you read it together? <laughs> he said, therefore. Humble yourself. Look, when the Bible says humble yourself, it doesn't mean you are weak. It means you are strong. Then you can if Jesus humbled himself, yes, he had, he had all the powers, but he subjected himself. He, the, that's why the Bible says you should humble yourself. You can react, you can overreact. But instead, you choose to submit. You choose to humble. That is one of the indications that will show us to you that you are fearing God. He humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death. Even the death of the cross. Why? Because he feared he had the fear of God. And he is the one who came to introduce to us the seven spirit that we should operate under. But before you should walk in the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and the spirit of counsel and might, first and foremost, you should have the spirit of the fear of God. The spirit of wisdom is attracted by the spirit of the fear. Hallelujah. The other thing that will enable us to see to see the fruits of you fearing the Lord is by hating sin. I only one had one amen here. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Proverbs 8 verse 13. This will help you to hate sin and the shadow of sin. Shadow of sin. 
That's why I said there's a lot of sin in the church. Do you know the way you can discern darkness from light nowadays is, is almost impossible. It's almost impossible to discern a brother who is walking in darkness, a sister who is walking in darkness. Yet they are in the light, but they are walking in darkness. It's almost impossible. If the spirit of discernment will not operate on the altar, it will be almost impossible for us to know that a certain believer is walking in sin. Yet they proclaim that they are in the light. So the Bible says the fear of the Lord is the head of evil. Huh? Pride and arrogance and the and the, you see people who have perverse mouth. <laughs> people who have, eh, me, ligua na vocabulary ya matusi. Kabla ni ogot. Ah, me, you would not make any nonsense to me. Before I got born again. Ah, it's radical, my friend. You would come. In fact, when I know that you are, you are weaker than me. Ah, naongianga vizuri. Kwa yoko na mandiko mali na sema kwa mba, na vinywa vyetu ziwe na 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 neema kama ya chumvi your your mouth should be seasoned with salt ya kwamba kila mtu mwenye unayeongelesha ajue kwamba umeokoka bwana yesu asifiwe sana lakini unapata watu ukitaka kujua mtu ana hofu ya mungu look at that let your speech always be with grace seasoned with salt that you may know how how you ought to answer each one. Nasikia mtu anakuuliza swali ile jibu utapokea hapo. Utashangaa kama mtu ameokoka. Bwana Yesu asiwe sana. It's only in Kenya where an answer with an answer answer. Whether where a question is answered by a question. Munaenda hapo kwani ulikuwa unaenda hapo? <laughs> Go back to Proverbs. <laughs> the fear of the Lord. Tell your neighbor, Pastor, you're talking about the fear of the Lord. Bible says to hate evil. Is to hate evil. Is to hate evil. Is to hate sin. Is to hate sin. Na mimi nitamalizia hapo kwa sababu Bwana anataka ujumbe huu ufikie mtu. Ya kwamba kuna watu wengi pale hawachukiangi dhambi. In fact many of them have tolerated sin. Many of them have encouraged sin. Many of them. I told you that yesterday that a wedding a wedding was done in church. A woman who is alive and a dead person. Here in Nairobi, is it Nairobi or somewhere? That evil is in the church. I pray that the church, when I'm talking about the church, I'm talking about the body. I'm not talking about the structure here. The body is more powerful than the structure. This is this is how we live. This is this, this is the how we portray the inside. Because how will I know you are clean? Nitaingia kwako nitajua moyo wako uko namna gani. Nikuulize swali. Ukisikia pastor anakuja kwako, what do you do with your house? Eh? Unajipanga, si ndio? Kila mahali kwa sababu gani? Now do you know that God lives in that house? So how do you live in that house? That's why you find people living recklessly. Wanaishi maisha ambayo ni mpaka waone mchungaji, mtu mwenye anaona na mwili. Ndio waanze ku maintain aye. Anajua weka vizuri pastor ndio huyu anapita. Wanasahau Mungu aliwaona kitambo. Is it possible we can live a life pleasing God 
than a pastor. Uh, is it possible we can live a life where we can please God more than a pastor? Because if you can please God, it will be automatic for you to please a pastor. But if you please your I don't, and I'm not saying you don't please your pastor. Please please your pastor. So long as he's in line with the word of God. Please please your pastor. But look at the, the other sister who went to the kitchen, wanted to please Jesus. He went to the kitchen so busy. But look at this one. He says, Lord, I want to know more of you. But the other one was busy. You can be busy for God, but not with God. Yes, you can be busy for God. That's how I was. Three, for three years, I was busy for God. You mean I would go to Uganda, I would go to everywhere. I, would, I, would, I was not settling. I would go to Turkana, I would preach the gospel. I was busy for, but not with God. But the time I knew, ah, three years, there is was a Until that moment, I told God, I don't want to make any step without you. The fear of God will help you to hate sin. That is what now the devil is doing. In order for you to get promotion, you have to go through sin. Because it seems like God is, is, is not hearing you. You can have an alternative. You can, you can as well go with plan C. Because God is not coming. And listen, just because you cannot see, it doesn't mean it's not there. Just because your promise, it seems to be delaying, it doesn't mean God is, a, God is deaf. No. Hallelujah. Chukia dambi na mfano wake. Amina ni moja. Na pastor unaongea kuhusu dhambi unaongea kuhusu nini? Hebrews is in chapter 6. He says without faith. Eh? It is impossible to please God. If you want to please God, walk in faith. And faith and fear, they walk together. In fact, the fear of God gives birth to faith. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The fear of God will give birth to faith. The fear of God will give birth to wisdom. The fear of God will give birth to understanding. The fear of God, before we talk about the spirit of might, because this is the character of the Holy Ghost. But first and foremost, you must walk in the fear. Yes, you must walk in the fear. He says, but without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he who... That's why, that's why, listen. That's why. Akuna dhambi kubwa kama ya kutuamini. Uneza chinja mtu na kesho utubu ukaenda mbinguni lakini ukosa kuamini na ukiwa kanisani jehanamu utakuwa unaenda si kama ninaeleweka vizuri kuna kitu inaitwa unbelief unbelief ni dhambi moja when you walk in unbelief god sees you as a devil himself ah Ukitembea na roya kutoamini Mungu kuona kama shetani Because He is not delighted in unbelief He can't show up Where there is lack of faith So he says without faith He says when said because of unbelief They were broken off And you stand by faith Do not out But fear Kuna mahali aliingia mahali akaona watu awamwamini. Biblia inasema kwamba alitoka ijapokuwa aligusa watu wachache sana na akawaponya wachache. Na kwa sababu ya kutoamini huo muji ya hukuokolewa. 
Gusam to Mambi, may the Lord help you. In the name of Swangas and Sauti Mambi, may the Lord help you and I to walk in the fear of the Lord. Hallelujah. Mpaka, tuchu, wapendo, yes, wanakuja. Tuwe tayari kuchukia. Na tu na chukia nambi. Ilio katika flesh. Sio mtu tunachukia, lakini nikili ya nafanya. Na mungu wa kitaka kubariki mtu, abariki kwa sababu wa matendo mema. Anambariki kwa sababu, akiangalia naona roya ya kumcha mungu. Kikutana na ayubu muulize. Alipoteza vyote, lakini kwa sababu ya the spirit of the fear of God. Alipat, alirudishiwa vyote maradufu. Ata naeza tabiri, napo malizia. Naeza tabiri kwako, lakini kama hauna hofu ya mungu. Itakuwa ni maneno tu. Mimi naomba mungu haitafika siku. Yesu wakuambie siku jui. May that day be far away from you. Nasema may that day be far away from you. Kwa sababu kuna watu watakataliwa mbinguni. I tell you. Eric Bwana Suwe. Eh. Kuna watu. Gusa mwenza kumambia kuna watu mbinguni. Watakataliwa mtelini. Eh. Watambu watu kujui. Simama kwa migu yako. Wata watambiwa ulikuwa na ubiri. Eh. Na mbona ulikuwa na ubiri maziwa. Na weo ukienda kukunywa maji. Halo, na mbona ulikuwa unaenda kesha, lakini kwa waganga ulikuwa ukosi. Mbona ulikuwa unaenda morning glory, impartation service, unaenda mpaka hiyo yote, unatoa mpaka saata fungula kumi naona ukiwa unatoa. Lakini wewe na masengenyo mkuu hapa bamba tu bamba. Na unaambiwa, get away from my presence. Get away from my presence. Listen. The fear of the Lord will teach you all things. Oh yes. Itakufanya mutu wa kunyenyekea. Itakufanya mutu wa kuchukia dhambi. The moment you walk in those characters, God begins to trust you. God begins to trust you. Kwa sababu anajua ukishanza kuchukia dhambi, atakupeleka mahali ambapo dhambi ya itakuwa. Anajua kwamba ukishanza kutembea katika hofu yake, kuna zile ambazo maagano, Vitu ambazo zinakuja na maaganu yake Mungu anachilia kwa maisha ko. I pray for you this afternoon That the Lord Almighty Will shower you Will clothe you with the spirit Of the fear of God In the mighty name of Jesus Ata kama ni majaribu Nina kuombea utashinda Na kuombea mungu ya kwamba Umuofu mungu atatengeneza mulango Umuogope mungu atatengeneza mulango Hautaenda asara unapo achana na dhambi Hautaenda asara unapo mkata shetani Hautaenda asara na kuombea kutakuwa na faida Katika jina la Yesu Christo That the church, the body of Christ Will begin to walk in the fear In the fear of the Lord In the fear of the Lord In the fear of God in the fear of God, in the authority of God, and that we may be able to subject ourselves to one another. Father, for this is your word that which has instructed us to do. We give you praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody say amen. Hallelujah.